craft we have for you today is inspired by Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment. All right, let's go. Hi, I was just out for a walk today and it is a beautiful day and I was trying to think of what we could make today and I came up with this idea. I think that you would like a tasty apple. <laughs> Don't know what made me think of it. list. You're going to need... What were you doing in there? An apple! A foam apple. Not a real apple. We'll use a foam apple. Magic marker! Tacky glue! Ooh! Model magic! How fitting! Oh, thanks for reminding me. Model Magic, you can also get this at Dollar Tree and Dollar General. And, well, I probably won't need that. <laughs> Hopefully you have a cauldron, otherwise you have to go to the store and get all your supplies from there. Thank you, cauldron! <laughs> we'll see you next time! <laughs> So on that delicious looking foam apple, I start tracing out where I want my design. And I have a reference picture in the back from Google. And I just typed in poison apple. And I looked at the different pictures and I chose one that I wanted mine to look like. And I just start tracing it out. I add my tacky glue where I'm gonna put the majority of the model magic clay. I roll some out. So about a rectangle shape, flatten it and apply it onto my apple. And then in the back, I'm just, I didn't mark anything in the back, so I'm just gonna make it drip down by pressing the clay down and form that freestyle. And then the front, I take a little more time with smaller bits of the model magic and I press that in around and on top of those lines and fill in all the gaps. And you can use your sculpting tool to get into the smaller spaces to blend that onto the apple better. And then after you have all your clay on your apple piece, let that dry. It might take 24 hours to dry. 12 o'clock midnight. Hi, I just wanted to stop in with a couple of tips. And the number one tip that I could give you is just get started. Just put yourself out there don't worry about being perfect. Crafting is all about the experience. And the more you experience crafting, the better you're going to get. So give yourself a chance to not do things perfect. Give yourself a chance to just play with the clay. And in this case, it's model magic. And it's a fun clay to play with. Give yourself a chance before you say you can't do it. Because so many times I get messages with people saying, I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, that's, that's fine if you never dreamed of drawing a stick figure. But if you do, just 
get yourself some paper and a pencil and draw. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the experience of drawing or painting, dancing, making something out of nothing. Garbage, really. Sometimes it's cardboard that I'm using. Cardboard, aluminum foil, and glue. I like to use really simple materials because there's an abundance of that. So just give it a chance. And if you're really interested in doing arts and crafts and making things, um, stick to my channel. I'm going to show you so many things that I know you can do. I know that I can show you how to make things and, and how to put your own personality into things. We're going to make gifts. We're going to make home decor. And guess what? It's going to sometimes be messy. So, I, I see you there. Okay. <laughs>one of the materials that we need for our project cauldron forgot to give us was acrylic paint and i have about three different shades and a yellow here so i'm using the darker shades underneath the drips and around the bottom of the apple and towards the top i'm using the lighter color shades and that yellow color for some highlights now i used a wet on wet technique so it would all blend so instead of just letting those layers dry i just went in and kept applying the lighter and lighter colors. Next, I went around the eyes and some of the details and I put in a darker shade, that's actually a darker shade of red to pull out some of that contrast. And then I sealed it with some Mermaid Magic nail polish you can use nail polish uv resin whatever you have that's going to give that a nice shine here's the finished product i think it turned out rather nice i hope you make one and remember if you do to share it on our facebook page the thrifted dragon like subscribe and comment there what do you think yeah <laughs> care for a bite. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you like. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Help our channel grow, and I'd love to have you part of our family. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome back to the Thrifty Dragon. Today we're going to be making a poison apple from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, well, I don't like her videos. <laughs> Get it all out there, little creatures. big fat nasty teeth oh I don't like her videos well were you not entertained <laughs> so if you like what you see here stay some more watch some more I got a lot of videos like five <laughs>